Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression uh, into the simplified form so that uh, here we have 25 uh, divided by 4 and its power is 9 over 4. So and now we write this into the simplified form. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we know that uh, or we rewrite this 25 as uh, 5 squared and we write this 4 as 2 squared and its whole power is 9 divided by 4. So uh, after that here uh, we use the nice uh, exponential law. You know that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. So it is equals to a over b and its whole power is m. So now we apply uh, this nice exponential law here. Uh, so according to this law, we combine the exponent of these two terms and it will be written as 5 over 2 and its exponent is 2 and whole power is 9 divided by 4. And after that here we apply another exponential law and you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, so it will be written as a to the power of m times of n. It means that if you have some exponent to the exponent, then these two exponents are multiplied by each other. So here you have the exponent 2 and the exponent is 9 over 4. So these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we obtain 5 over 2 and its exponent is 2 multiplied by 9 over 4. So you see here this 2 4 or 2 2 is a 4. Uh, then we will get here uh, 5 over 2 and its exponent is 9 divided by 2. Okay. So here you focus on a 9 over 2 and now we break uh, this 9 and uh, we rewrite uh, this 9 as this is 5 over 2. Here you have 9. We write 9 as 8 plus 1 over 2. Okay, so here we break this fraction and we write it as 5 over 2 and its exponent is 8 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Okay, so in the next step you see here this 2 4 is 8 uh, then uh, we will obtain 5 over 2 and its exponent is 4 plus 1 over 2. So now here we uh, use uh, an other exponential law. So according to this exponential law, uh, if we have a to the power of m plus n, then it is equals to a to the power of m into a to the power of n. So now we use this nice exponential law here. So uh, according to this exponential law, we will break this exponent and we write it as uh, 5 over 2 and its exponent is 4 and 5 over 2 and its power is 1 over 2. So here we need an other exponential law. So according to this exponential law, if you have a over b and its power is m, so we write it as a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. So, uh, according to this exponential law, we will uh, uh, we will write this exponent separately on both of these terms and it will be written as 5 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 4 into this is uh, we have 5 uh, over 2 because this is a, a 1 over 2. So, we write this 1 over 2 power as 5 over 2 and its whole square root okay we know that uh, 1 over 2 is the exponential form we write this exponential form into the radical form so we write it in this way okay uh, so uh, after that here we need more simplification and uh, we know that 5 to the power of 4 is equals to here you you need to multiply this 5 uh, to the 4 times so when you multiply 5 to the 4 times you will obtain 625 and when you multiply 2 by 4 times, then you will get here 16 into square root of 5 over 2. Okay. 
so now uh, because we write uh, this into the simplified form so here we uh, uh, we need some uh, uh, so we need some uh, radical laws uh, in order to uh, write this into the more simplified form so that uh, here uh, we apply the radical law so uh, here we know that if you have a over b and its whole square root so we write this as a square root of a over square root of b so now here first we break this square root and we write this square root on separately on both of these terms and it will be written as 625 divided by 16 into square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 so uh, after this step uh, here uh, we uh, need to simplify uh, uh, more simplification of these terms uh, so now we multiply and divide uh, this term by square root of uh, 2 okay so here uh, uh, when we multiply and divide square root of 2 then uh, here we use another radical law so uh, if we have square root of a is multiplied by square root of b then uh, we write it as square root of a and b <clears throat> we combine the square root of both of these terms similarly if you have a square root of a is multiplied by square root of a then we will write it as a square root of a and its whole squared okay it means that you know, this 2 and square root are gone then you will obtain here a so we use these two exponential laws here so now first we focus on the numerators and in the numerators we have 625 we combine the exponent we combine the radical of these two terms and uh, we will obtain here 5 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by this is a uh, 16 and here you have the radical of uh, 2 and we write it as a square root of 2 and its whole square so according to this exponential law okay so now uh, after this step uh, here uh, you see that this 5 is multiplied by 2 and we will obtain 625 into square root of 5 times of 2 becomes 10 and it is divided by this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get 16 is multiplied by 2. So here uh, when you multiply 16 by 2 uh, then we will obtain here 625 into square root of 10 and it is divided by 16 times of 2 is 32. So this is the our required simplified form of the given algebraic expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.